We are here at Mount Smart Stadium for Game 2 of the Aotearoa Origin Series. So both teams looking to get ready for what should be an exciting match. He then won, letting out his team. Taking on Jai McCartney's Northern Wetter, who are playing at home for the first time at Mount Smart Stadium, which should be an exciting match. I'm for one looking forward to it. Eddie Oliver joining me in the comment triple. What are you looking forward to about this game? Yeah, g'day there, Lockie. What a game we have here this evening. Wetter coming out the win last week and at home. An extra advantage for them. I'm looking forward to see how Orca turned this around. Went through the middle last week. They absolutely got demolished by that man, Chris Lord. 166 running meters. There's nothing better than it. The Aforsa and the Weta pack. They need to try and qu qu quieten him down this evening, this game. They won't have a chance. Yeah, obviously, Chris Lord absolutely dominated in the middle for the Orcas last week. Despite their loss, obviously losing 36 points to 32 in the end. As we are off here, Chance Buns takes the first run. As always, there a knock on, knock on straight oh. off the kickoff here, and the wet and the Orcs have provided a perfect opportunity to score early on here. It's going to go over to Maxwell. The first set of the game going to be attacking the Wetters line here. Goes over. It's going to be Hodgson pushing forward. He'll be put on his back. Wetter are going to get to set their defensive line again as he's held up. Ref not wasting any time. No point going to the bunker for that one, mate. As they'll play it on the 10 meter line. It's going to go Vaughn inside there to Amitagi. He's pushing forward. He's going to get taken down. Just shot off the line. Third tackle. Vaughn tries to take up, but the defense is there to meet him there. Five meters out now. Fourth tackle. Only a minute and a half gone so far. It goes there. Cambolo looking to crash over. Oh. He scored last time. So close. But no, he's just short Moana now. And oh, my God. A massive oh. shot off the kickoff. But Weta survived that early scare. Where they're not starting the game how they would have wanted, but an amazing defensive defensive resolve there from them. Holding holding out the Orcas early there, coming away with a mistake. They're looking to turn it around here, the home side. As now Kobe Johnson, he played very strong last week at the center position. He remains there, troubling them in the air and in attack. So it goes McCartney, short ball there to Slattery, who makes some decent meters there before being taken down by, I think that's... Uh, Stays to pace there. They get a long ball down to Nanai. Nanai had a very good game last week. Gets through the line already here. Another good run there by John Nan. He'll play it there just short of the 30. Fourth tackle now. Carney goes to Tua. Gives it a bunce. Who goes to Thomas Wallace now. That's going to be the fifth tackle. A very good, very good um, response there from the Northern Wetter after an early, early knock on. Yeah, good stuff there from Weta. That's what they needed just to get out of the red zone and take some pressure off themselves that all put on early. And a very good kick there at the back there being taken by the fullback in the Orcas. And now they're just holding their own line here, the Weta side, just holding their own and just keeping them back. Vaughn will play it there, third tackle, just short the 40. Goes Strange now. Strange looking for some right meters. Gets it off with back to Chris Lord, who'll be taken down there. By McCartney and Rex Slattery, that is fourth tackle. Goes back. Thompson is going to go for a kick. Kicks it over. Fett who takes it. And now for whether we're going to be presented a perfect opportunity now. They'll start their set inside the Northern Orcas. Sorry, the Southern Orcas half here. 30 meters out. Slattery plays it there. They go wide there to Fett Fetu nearly gets on the outside shoulder of Strange. In fact, he does before he's taken down around the hips there. Third tackle. Tyre inside border Slattery. He's eight meters out now. This could be dangerous here for the Yorkers if they score early on. They go wide now. The Bards, who's taken down there, is a very tall center. I expect them to use him in the end, much like they used Johnson last week. We'll have to see if this goes now. Fifth tackle. Fetu puts it high. A very good kick there. Take Taps back there for Bards. And Bards is going to score the opening oh. try for the Northern <laughs> Wetter. Who would have thought Fetu with the bomb? Then the lock forward here. Bombing it across field in front of the sticks. The tap back to the fullback. We'll see it here. He's in position. Tap back to him. Gets around one. Straight under the sticks. And what a start here for the home side. Yeah, they started. We actually started poor, obviously, with the knock-on by Fetu early on. But he's made up for it, setting up that try. They defended well on the line. And then they got the ball back after a poor kick by, I think it was Matthew Vaughn. 
and they get the ball. They go down to there and get the ball. And eventually on last tackle, Bunce crossover. Scored a double last week. And he scores one. Hit open to scoring after seven minutes. Northern went already up 6-0 in Auckland. You know, a very good start there to Weta. As you said there earlier, Lockie, they didn't get to the start of the game that they wanted. But coming back in style like that and scoring first points of the second match, there's no better way than doing it. As Vaughn is ready to kick off now. Not the start the Orcas would have liked, but they're going to have to see how they respond now as it goes deep down, all the way down to Thomas Wallace, who gives it down to Rex Lattery. He's taken there by Johnston. Sorry, not Johnston. I think that's guys there. My bad. Is that's the first tackle now? It's going to be Hone King, the rookie. One of the few players playing for both sides who haven't played, made the rest of their debut yet. Obviously, he played last week. Hone King was kept relatively quiet. We'll see if he can get more involved today. It's David Barner now. Centers it up midfield. He'll play it there. This is good set so far. Tyre gives it over there to Eli Bards in the center roll. Eli Bards. Oh, that was dangerous for a second. Really wrong footed Tyler Avatango before he managed to recover and grab onto Barnes. As now Slattery settles at midfield. We'll take a set around into the arms of Strange. And they'll play it there on the 40. Tyre kicks into the backfield, gets it over some heads. There's no one really back there. Demando eventually takes it. But if he trapped in the 10 minute line, that's a great set up to scoring points from Weta. Beautiful, beautiful kick there from Weta. Just kicked it nice and low and just not allowing the winger there to get the ball on the full. And then Hone King running through and getting to that tackle. Beautiful start to the defensive set. As now Chris Lord, eight line breaks last week, as we mentioned earlier. He makes one there. That's a great run. That's definitely a run they needed here. Luke Thompson, long ball over to Demando. Demando's in some spacey. Oh, Bunce gets to him with the ankle tap. That could have been absolutely dangerous. Four for Weta there. It's Chris Lord now. Short ball there to stay the pace. Link it up with his Cowboys teammate there. That's going to be the fifth tackle now. Orca's in a position to put an attacking kick in here. Vaughn goes it through the line. And they're going to call it a knock on here, I think. And I think they're going to get the ball back. Yes, they do. This is a great opportunity here. We'll have to see how they go now as Demando takes the first run there. Settling up nice in the center of the middle field. They had an opportunity early. Failed to capitalize it. They get it here, though. They good the captain. So not the captain. The um, retiring veteran, I should say. Logan Strange looking to go forward there. But taken down by Chance Bunce. Long ball over. Into the clutches. And guys gets another oh. one. He scored the first try for the Orcas last week. And he does the same here. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from guys. Just running that line as he's always done for the Broncos. And now here for the Orcas. That long ball out from, from dummy half, a beautiful ball it was. And that all started off from the unsung hero and Chris Law, getting them up the field, setting the tone for the forward pack. And he, and he played a big part in that try, though. Yeah, but we'll be disappointed with that. Obviously, they started the last set with the um, Orcas on their 10 minute lineup. A beautiful kick by Sony Tyre earlier. But Chris Law got a good run, quick play to ball. Eventually, they'll manage to get upfield to the point of. um. Foul conversion there from Vaughn. Six for the score. Um, the Weta here, they just need to get back to how they started. They scored first, and then they just led it away with their defense through the middle. They need to tighten up the ruck and just watch, you know, the forward pack here of the Orcas. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's solid with that run from Chris Lord, and eventually, great kick by Vaughn after a couple of, you know, sort of shanked ones earlier, and forced the air. I think it was McCartney that dropped it. And, well, they ended up scoring a little bit disappointed. Kobe Johnson was shooting out the line. Not used to defending in the uh, center roll. Shooting out the line. The ball got on the outside of his shoulder. And guys eventually dove in. But a great start there. Sorry, a great bounce back, I should say, from the Orcas. As we look to go upfield. Tyler out of a tangy now. The river run. Caught there by John McCartney. If I was, it's going to go stace to pace now. He'll play it there. Fourth tackle. Thompson. Gives it there to guys. Guys pushes forward. That's the fifth tackle, Mum. Um, fifth tackle there. It's gonna get as um, yeah, beautiful. Nick Howard Avatar will take the ball there. That's gonna be on the thirty there. Um, Eddie, what are you so far based on this game? How do you think um, both teams are tracking so far? Yeah, so both teams have come out of the sheds a bit slow. Took them a second to get going with the mistake off the kickoff, but it looks like to be settling down now, 15 minutes in. And just some players making inroads, some individual players, but it's going to be the team who's going to be able to work as a whole here. Who's, you know, whose halves are going to click in the stages of this game? Is That's not what the Weta team need there. 
And throwing out there, having this second error of the match. As now, the Orcs looking for something. Logan Strange is going to be moving upfield. That's a great run. They're on the 30. They should be in a good position for the set to potentially put some pressure on the weather defensive line. Thompson now. Short ball there once again, the guys. 225 meters, I believe it was, he ran last week. Already running a lot here. It's going to go stays to pace. Long ball out to Demando. Great run there, but he'll be taken down there. Third tackle. He'll play it there. 15 meters out now, guys. With another run. For a second, I thought he got on the inside, outside there. Wants to get a slattery, but he'll play it there. Vaughn now takes on the line. He'll be caught there by... I think that's Chance Bunts there. That'll be fifth tackle now. A try he'll be absolutely devastating for the weather. It's going to be high. Thompson puts it high. Who's under it? Oh, great kick by Hone King, the rookie. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from the rookie. Under pressure, Hone King, he takes it well. Demando was there and also the center. But the forward pack of the Orcas here just absolutely demolishing the defensive line of the Weather team. Straight through the middle, Strange and also Lord. They just need to watch out and just keep them under control here, the Weather. As Barna plays it there, we go short ball there now, the Nanai. He's had a good start to the game once again. Gets up to the 40 meter line, they'll play it there. Thomas Wallace, short ball there to Fetu. He plays it there, that's the third. Goes Thomas Wallace, short ball now to Nanai. Pushing forward to the 40, that's the fourth tackle. Goes Wallace, short ball there to Barna. And he'll push up towards the 30. Just moving in roads right now, just hitting them up the middle, which is quite interesting from the weather. They're definitely dominating that part of the field right now, but oh, that's another error. Thomas Wallace picks it up, though. It's a great run. Goes for the offload to McCartney, but his opposite number, Damien Wan, is there to meet him. And well... The Northern Weather set ends there. Yeah, miscommunication there for Northern Weather coming towards the end of the set there. They didn't get the play that they wanted, but, you know, Thomas Wallace got through the line and got tackled on the 20. As Demando, they had a beautiful run up field to get the Orcas out of trouble. As now Thompson pushes forward. They're already over the 50 in the second tackle. They started quite deep as always. Oh, that's a ball. Demando, what? That was a massive pass from Chris Lord. Trying to trick the North... Northern weather there, but they can't. It's going to be Chris Lord now. Short ball there to Guys. Guys already got one today. It's going to be taken there by Bunce, though. That's a great tackle, though. And it's a great run ended there on Logan, guys. That's going to be the fourth tackle. Matthew Vaughan gives it inside to Chris Lord. He'll be put onto his back there. Fifth tackle. Damon one looking to send it to someone. It's going to go Thompson there, but a great tackle by David Barner. And... The Northern Weta survive once more. Yeah, beautiful desperation there from the Weta defensive line. But how good is Chris Lord running the ball, but this time showing his ball playing. The short ball there to Guy straight through the line. There's no player better than him with those short balls at the moment. As Arnold here, just coming on the field, what a start to the stint here for the big man. Yeah, Chris Lord sort of started to become one of the best players in the cop, but watch out, he bounces away. He's taking on Tyler Abitagi. Can Abitagi get to him? He does. But all through, he's made plenty of ground. Eight metres short now. The Orcs are going to be hard to not score here. It's going to go to her. He will be taken there. Fourth tackle now. They go back centre of the park. Short ball there to Ben Arnold. Oh, good tackle. He's put onto his back though. Fifth tackle now. McCartney has multiple options here. He chooses to send it back. To Sony Ty, who's... Oh, a bit of pressure there. I think that's offside, but they're going to say, just go back to the knock-on, and that's a disappointing end there from the weather. Beautiful. Again, Chris Lord getting out of the line and putting pressure on the kicker. There was a bit of a wayward pass there and took its time to get to Sunny Tyre. So the service wasn't great, but Chris Lord took absolute advantage of it. We can't stop wrapping him. He's, he's absolutely firing all guns blazing for Orcas here this evening. And they go back over once again, the guys who managed to get an offload out there, although probably not needed. That's going to be the third tackle. Goes Moana. Short ball there to Gould. He pushes past the 40. He'll play it there. It's the fourth tackle now. Goes Thompson. Gives it there to Amatang. He's nearly through a gap there. Taken there by Thomas Wallace. Good tackle there on his team, on his Cowboys teammate there. That's the fifth. It's going to go Thompson. Kicks it over there. The Hone King who takes it there. Not sure what he's doing. He's going to try to make his kick return. Oh, that's a great run from Hone King. He broke a couple tackles there. Great run from the rookie. Yeah, and that's what you get from him, Hone King. He hasn't played any SRL, but any day of the week in the mines, if he gets around one, he's gone. 
They need to watch him in open space. He'll be gone as quick as quick as you saw him. Sony Ty pushes up to the 40 now. It's going to go Barna. Inside ball there to Bunce. Steps past Gould, but he's taken there by Cameron Hodgson. Fourth tackle on the 50. Tyre, out to back to Fetu. Over to Nikau Aratere, but he... Good tackle there by Tintero Maxwell, who... We're always making a tackle there. We haven't really talked about him much today, which we know how good he can be in open space. As Sony Tyre bats it downfield. Tyler Almatangi, and he's taken there. The game sort of started to get in a rhythm there. We, the first game, obviously, 36 to 32, the full time score. We never really got a point in the game. It was just back and forth. But that's sort of what it came to right now. Which team will be the next to sort of open up space? The next team to really open up space is who's going to take advantage of the offside markers because there are some. Tackler's falling off and the ruck's sort of slimming up for both teams. If you have somebody to run through it like this man, Alan Matangi, in open space, well, the game's just going to open up for that team. Yeah, I'm really interested to watch the ball play skills of David one who obviously, as I say about, sorry, to Thera Maxwell, he's broken through the line. He's going to get an offload there to David Moana out of all plays. The player I was just about to talk about, but he's taken there. Fifth tackle now. They're going to send it back. It's going to be Luke Thompson who puts it high. A good kick there. No one wants it. Eventually taken there by Nikawa Aratere. And the Weta survive. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from Weta. He timed his jump and he took it perfectly, the winger. But I was talking about falling off tackles and Weta are at the moment in defense. This, the backs of the Orcas just getting through one by one. And they weren't able to find the final pass there for the try. There's another error here. That's their fourth of the match, I believe. As now Tola Avatagi pushing forward. A great run. Carton eventually takes him down. That's the first, though. A full set on their line once again here. Vaughn. Short ball there. It's going to be play on there. We're going to say not went backwards there. Luke Thompson dives on it. That's the second tackle now. Chris Lord, first receiver. Sends it out the back. Tyler Abitaghi onto it. Abitaghi scores, oh. and the Orcas hit the front. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. Beautiful ball movement from the Orcas. Straight to the one side and to their key players. Elamatangi, he's been quiet to start the game here. But straight into the action with thirty to, with 10 to go in this half. And you're not going to stop him once he gets around one there. We're talking about them falling off tackles. He's been breaking tackles all game. And he's finally got one for the Orcas. Yeah, this, this point from the weather have had a lot of errors. The defense hasn't been too bad. But the amount of errors they've had has definitely not helped them. As the Orcas got 10 points to 6. Yeah, no, yeah. The defense from the weather hasn't been... Hasn't been too bad, but it's just the amount of, you know, pressure that they put themselves under. And they're just falling into a rhythm of, you know, losing the ball coming out of their own end, putting themselves under pressure. Then fatigue comes into the game and the backs just running up one by one, getting around that first tackler. Just zooming away there, as Tyler Alamatongi did. As Sony Tyler kicks back off now, the score remains 10 points to 6. Both teams, probably not... Probably realized that probably could be better. The Orcs have had plenty of opportunities, but failed to convert a few of them. And the weather have made a lot of errors. If they stop making the errors, I feel like the weather can definitely put a number on this team. They have a bit more attacking prowess than the Orcs. But as now at time, Taggy makes another prank. Another defender just falling off there. I'm interested to see players like them, one who set up four tries last week, starts to take advantage of that as guys. Takes it there. That's going to be the fourth tackle. It's going to go out there. Oh, is that an error? We're going to say, nope, they're going to say play on here as Vaughn picks it up. I thought Philippe Good might have knocked that on, but ref says no. Fifth tackle now. Goes back to Chris Lord. He puts the kick in. Gets it over there to Hone King. And take it there. Something we didn't really talk about earlier with Chris Lord. We talked about his ball play. So it was once again, it was him that was that first receiver for that Tyler Amitaghi try earlier. He's definitely someone that the, the, the weather, sorry, have to make sure they... They don't, they don't give him any room at all because he is someone that can light up in the game. No, definitely they're lucky. It's a man of all trades here for Chris Lord. The kick, the pass, the run. He's got it all. A mixed bag player. And as they get the ball here again, the Orcas. Sony Tyrant is this time with another error. They don't want to get to play it there. It's going to go Hodgson. Gives it there short to Campbell, who gets the offload, in fact. Cam Bunty Campbell playing in the centers this week. Had a decent start so far as then out of security. Gets a quick run there. He'll get a quick play to ball. In fact, here, Damon Wada now out of dummy half. We talked about this earlier. Out of dummy half, and he'll score to increase oh. their lead. We talked about him lining it up out of dummy half. With Marcus falling off. Takuri got a quick play to ball, and Wada took full effect. 
There it is. Players falling off. Mark is offside. And look, he's taken, taken the full advantage of it there. Setting them up that last week. This week, scoring them for them. Moana just fending off one and getting around the fullback there in Barnes. Beautiful stuff there from him. Vaughn here to take the conversion. Yeah, Moana is not someone who we traditionally looked, like, like, looked at as a hooker, but maybe he could be after the series. Four tries set up this week, last week. He's already set up one today. He's now scored a try. He's definitely someone to look at for future, you know, for, for future um, potential hookers that we could look at as being a player. Maybe he moves into the hookers for the Cowboys. We don't know at this point. He's the captain and chose to play himself at hooker in this series. And so far, he's probably been one of the best players in this tour, in this um, free game series, I'd have to say. You know, definitely. And that's the beauty of having these representative games. Sometimes you don't get that position that you want to start in. And then it gives you the opportunity to show off your versatility. As Moana has been showing, he set up four tries last week. And then also getting one for himself here. Definitely a player who's very comfortable in this, in the, you know, hooker position. As there is again passing this time for Luke Thompson. Gives it an air short to Hodgson, who's making up the middle again. Gets it off the crystal once again, supporting up the middle. That'll be the third tackle now. Second tackle, sorry. Goes Thompson. Inside ball then Abatuggy. They read it well and take him down there. That's going to be the third tackle. Thompson now. Inside ball then Molo. Gets it over to Curry. He was the one that played the ball quickly to get it for Moana earlier, but he'll play it there. Fourth tackle now. What's the plan here? They're going to go back midfield. Vaughn. Short ball there to Gould. Gould's looking for another one. He gets the off one of Moana. He has a double oh. in the space of two minutes. Flebo Gould. It goes from there, Vaughn to Gould, and then Moana. That man again, he just scored, and he's straight back to that spot underneath the sticks. And Flebo Gould, the hole running from him, straight through. He's got two on his back. He could have fallen over, but he offloads the ball unselfishly and gives it back to that number nine. And it looks to be a turn of events here from last week. It's the Orcas in front, 20 to 6. And they'll kick, and once again, the errors from the letter have just been disappointing. Had so many errors inside there, and now they take it full advantage. It was a great play there. It was the crew made a break. He gets taken down there. Quick play to short to good and good. He was too slow to make it himself, but he managed to find someone with the speed to burn. It was Moana. He goes in under the post to score his second try, and he's having an absolute blinder of a series so far. So far, he's been involved in three of the four tries, Moana. Setting up the first and then scoring the last two. And, well, the Orc is kicking, getting a receiving key. Obviously, they were in front of half time, 20 to 6 last time, so whether or no they can come back. You know, but, definitely, whether I've got the. Po oh, my apologies, eh? But you have to be. You have, they can't let the score go out anymore, is what I was going to say. Continue, Eddie, sorry. You know, definitely, they We all know that the points in them, but we have to. You know, what you've been talking about all game. They need to cut the errors out. They need to just lock down their middle and just get this defensive ball back in action here because it's offline at the moment. The Orcas are taking absolute advantage of it. It's good now. Play it there. Just short the 30. They go over here to, to Curie. Another break. He's been incredible off the bench so far tonight. In fact, they've gone nearly like the field again. If they score here, the weather are going to be in absolute shambles. It's going to go Thompson. He puts it high. That's a beautiful kick there. A great kick, in fact. Tap back. Abitaki looking to push over, but oh, that's very close. They managed. He forced me to short the line. Not even me to set him in short, but the winner survive. That kick and that play there from the Orcas couldn't have been even more perfect, but the resilience here of the Weta, of the Northern Weta side, they're just holding out and a bit of light there for them, holding out the Weta there as every single set that they've been coming back off of, Orca have been scoring on them. This is the first set of them coming out of trouble. There's Barner. He'll play it there. McCartney now looking for space. McCartney's through. It's the portal on the inside. Fetu was steaming up the middle. He couldn't find him. That's going to be the fourth tackle now. It's Kobe Johnston. He's looking for space. He'll be taken now. That's going to be the fifth tackle. A minute till half time. The way to have a lot to look at in that second half with how they fix it up. McCartney sends it back. Wallace is going to punt it over. Maxwell is going to let it bounce, I think. He will. As Cambolo takes it there. And he'll play it there. That'll be the first tackle. I don't think there's going to be any tries for half time. It looks like the half time scores better 22 6. What if it went in to fix up in order for them to get themselves back into this game? 
Well, I think Weta have actually shown a bit of signs of what they do need to do. With McCartney running out a dummy half like that, just not able to find the final pass, but they just need to be on top of the ball and playing over the advantage line and just making the Orcas make the first de decision and defense and just force them on top as Chris Lord again. As Luke Thompson with the offload, he's away, is he getting, no, he gets caught. As we headed to half time, the Orcas leading the Weta, 22 points to six. We are back in the second half. Sony Tyre getting ready to put the ball on the tee here. 22 points to 6. His side is down. We've had a lot of errors in that opening half. The Orcas, though, they looked for goods after losing that first game. They didn't come out with a purpose so far. And they're up. But remember, the weather came back from a similar margin last week. Eddie, your thoughts on the first half? Yeah, the first half was all over the place at the beginning for both sides, not being able to find any rhythm. But it was the Orcas putting on 22 points in the first half with the man Damian Moana scoring two of those tries, just getting through the middle and getting their team on the front foot. But with the Northern Wetter side, unfortunately, you know, being put under pressure defensively and that's come out with... It's come back with Chance Bunce, the fullback, who's at the back there making, you know, the top, top of the tackling list, 13 tackles in one half for a fullback. He's been all over the place early and under fatigue. They're going to be looking forward to turn that around here. And right away, they're already looking good as I say that, though. Guys gets himself in a bit of a wrong position. Falcons the ball. And the weather are back. It's Mark Iron now. That's a good run. Just come on the field. His first touch. He makes a decent amount of meters there. That's going to be the second tackle and a penalty. This is what the weather needed. He said to the self, Lockie, that's what the weather needed. And definitely a Wallace to kick for touch. They're on the front foot here, the weather. What a beautiful attacking opportunity this is for them in, in the Walker's red zone here. Obviously, McCartney's opposite number, Moana. Definitely showed up for that first half. Let's see if it's similar as Jaden White now. Taken down there by Moana. That's going to be the first tackle. They go over here, over to Barnes. We know how dangerous he is. Barnes looking dangerous here. And Matungi gets across field to make a crucial tackle on the tall winger. It's going to go White. At the back there to Nanai. Pushing forward now. That's going to be the third tackle. Nanai plays it there. We're going to go long ball over. And Tua looking to cross over. And he, oh, he's held up though. That was dangerous. Good run. Good ball run there from Tua. But he's going to get put on his back. Held up. Let's give it a fourth tackle now. It's going to go Tony Tire over to Rex Ladder. He runs over the top of the pace. But Moana manages to take him down. Fifth tackle. What's their options here, Wetter? We go long ball over. Tired looking take on the line. And he's over. Sonny Tire's over. Sonny and I think Tyre. he scored there. Who would have thought Sonny Tire? We're going to go up and check the box. But the ref says green lights here. There it is. Sonny Tire. Who would have thought the man who's been sort of a mixed, ba you know, mixed bag of emotions here at the, at the moment for him. Not going the way that he wanted this game. But to start off the scoring for the second half for the Northern Wetter side... There's no better way to try and come back into this game. Yeah, he was my man of the match in game one. Free try, um, free try assist along with a try for himself. And that right there was very strong from Sony Tyre. And he just, he saw the line rush up and he decided let's just go himself. And he managed his strength, managed to push his way over. It's a very strong ball runner. Very big for a 5'8". And they score as well. That's definitely put them back into it. The game started, the second half was started very similar to the last week, in fact. The Orcas were up 20-6 at half time. Gave away a penalty, they scored the back of that penalty, went to 20-12. to So, so far this game is going very similar to the last week. The Orcas cannot allow them to score the next try for the winner, otherwise they could gain too much momentum, I think. No, they definitely couldn't. Talking about momentum, what a, you know, what a piece of... Brilliant it can bring for a team. And that by the looks of it, we are coming out into this game with it. With the momentum, what a word. And what a thing it can do for a team if they have it. A slatter who plays it there. Just short of the 20. It's going to go white now. He's coming on the middle. He played this role last week and actually scored a try. 
It's cool to try to get them back into it. So we'll have to see if they can do something similar here. A short ball better to her. Gets it offloaded back to McCartney. And now another penalty. And you see there in the background, not really sure shown on the screen right now, but you can see there, the referees have given a little talk to the Damon Wilder saying, another penalty and someone will be sitting out. You know, definitely. And it's happened again, just giving away errors. It's the complete opposite of the first half. Not dropping the ball, but the worst of the worst, the penalty. That just invites the opposition into your half here. And the Northern Wetter side, they're straight back to where they started, where the first try came from, looking for another one. Ask Alatero now, down the wing, he actually beat out Mataggy, but Logan Strange, the retiring veteran, gets around to make a crucial tackle there. Jaden White now, can't find any room, just decides to take the tackle there, makes no meters. Third tackle now. Sony Tyre, long boy, what an intercept there for Stace the pace. Not sure you'd be expecting him to intercept it, but he has, and the Orcas have the ball, and the Wetter survive. As now Chris Lord with another good run. And here goes the forward pack, the Orcas starting to wind up off the back of that error. And the interception there from space to pace. My apologies there. Guys are running straight through. The forward pack of the Orcas looking to try and get back on top here. As Logan Strange takes it now, he pushes forward. A good run there. As now another penalty. This game, three penalties in the opening eight minutes. These players better be careful. Sinbiddings do mean you missed the final game. Will miss the final game in this series. So they do not want to get sin binned and potentially be at, be at risk of missing out that potential decider or that final game free in the series. As Moana will tap it there, 25 meters out. Guys pushes forward there. If they score here, basically neutralizes that first opening try there. Guys will play it there. 22 meters out. It's going to go stays to pace now once more. It's a big body stace. He'll push forward there. That's the second tackle. Thompson. Short ball there to Chris Lord. Playing it there. Strange. Looking to run forward. He gets taken there. That's going to be... It's going to be the fourth tackle. Plays it there. Moana looks to go short side here. Thompson. Taken down there. That looked like a good play. But White rushed out the line. Put pressure on him. And he couldn't find anything else. Four now. Grubbers it in. Albert Taggy takes it. And he has the second of the game. There it is, the Orcas just getting back to that, extending the scoreline as it was at the end of the first half, and it's Tyler Alamatangi just running onto the ball and just the awareness of knowing where it's going to go and finding the space. It's beautiful grabbery off the foot there of Vaughan. Gets picked up. Beautifully worked play there from the Orcas. As it was, Vaughan of the kick. Alamatangi scores his second. Beautiful kick there. And, you know, they... The weather, they started so good, but that error of that poor pass there that saw Stace the pace intercepted and run, you know, run about 20 meters from it. A penalty was given away, it wasn't long, and now they've neutralized their opening try and they're back to a margin of, well, assuming Vaughn gets this kick, back to a margin of 16 points. You know, definitely then, coming into the second half, Lockie, I'm noticing both teams, the reason for the penalties is they're trying to slow down the play of the ball and try and stop each side from, you know, getting over the advantage line like the Orcas did. And they actually did that well there, you know, put, getting over the advantage line, the weather, down to the second half. But then just the arrow, the floating ball for space to pace, the big forward to pick it up, and then just giving away the penalty is just relieved all that pressure that they put on the Orcas there. This tyre kicks back off now. They'll have to do something quickly if they don't want to risk this score blowing out because we know it can. Stays to pace, takes that first hit up there. He'll play it there on the 20. They give it short there to Guys. Again, he's been incredible so far this game, similar to his first game. And he'll play it there on the 30. Quick play to ball. Thompson gives it a four. Vaughn. He gets up towards the 40 there. He'll play it there. That's going to be the third tackle now. Lord, it is. And he just, he can't find any one help, so he just takes the run himself once more on the fourth tackle now. It goes Thompson, short ball, there to guys, and that's a good run there once again. How many runs does this guy take? Logan, guys, feels like he's taken at least a run every set, potentially two. You know, definitely there's Iron with the return. As Iron takes a um, run there, sorry, continue, Eddie. Yeah, all good there. You know, guys talking about him, run every set. He's not shy of the ball, is he, Lockie? And he just keeps doing doing his job. 
for the Orcas side here. It's beautiful stuff from him. He's got that beautiful short ball line that he runs off the playmaker. And more more times than less, he'll get over for the try, which he already has here this evening. There's that eye. He takes a run there, but he's ambushed there by Moana and Lord linking up in the tackle there. It's going to go Wallace over there to Johnson. Once more, but he can't be taken there. That's going to be the fifth tackle now. Still just under half an hour remaining in this game. If the weather can get some quick, some good little balls, they can potentially, well, they can definitely put themselves back into this game. But so far, it's Tintero Maxwell now. This is a good run. He tries to take on. Oh, but it absolutely takes his head off. Chance Bunts. Not what you would have been wanting there from your fullback and now they're presenting another opportunity to extend their lead. Yeah, to Terra Maxwell getting close to the sideline there. And then he tried to go on the inside of Bunce and he just put up the old fashioned code hanger, Lockie. Straight over the head there of the winger. And into attacking set opportunity here for the Orcas, Chris Lord, to get them underway. Ball now, short ball there. Once again, guys, he must be at up it. I feel like he's. Had about 20 runs already in this first 40 minutes of this half. As Vaughn gives it now short there. And Alder Takuri steaming onto the ball. Back on the field there for the big forward. Playing in the back row role. Which is not a role he's used to. But he's there for the moment. As Logan Strange takes the offload there. That's going to be the fourth tackle now. Damon Wana. Long pass over to guys. And guys. That's the third run of the set. Yeah. Wow. Well, another. Another. Heavy running set as Thompson now. He takes on it himself, but no, he can't do much. Disappointing end to the set there from the um, Orcas. Thompson can't get to his kick, and unfortunately, they failed to count all the trumps there. Yeah, definitely. Then the Orcas, they do need to be careful. It's all well and good when, you know, he's doing well, guys, but you don't want to overwork him and you don't want to make him force his hand like he nearly did there with the offload. And oh no. David Wada. The skipper sent to the sin bin. You see the looks there. He's disappointed himself. Testing the ref out a little bit too much. And now, this is what they needed. David Wada, he's probably been the Orcas' best player so far. Today, he's their captain. Sin binning means he will not play in game three. That is big. On top of that, he'll be missing for the next 10 minutes. And the Orcs will be down to 12. If the weather were to come back, this is what they needed. As now McCartney straight up on behalf. Lord eventually gets around to make a crucial tackle on him before McCartney could really get any head of steam. White now. Short ball there to Tua, who pushes forward. Takuri takes him down. Third tackle now. They're already making this. It's going to be so tired, but he goes for the pass, but he's going to drop it cold. And Crystal heads up, hangs on to it, and another error made by the weather. Yeah, the man of the hour, Chris Lord. Under pressure by the looks of it. You know, the key man... The Rock in that middle defense there for the Orcas. Damien Moana, he's off for 10 minutes. And they tried taking advantage of it there with Jeremy McCartney with the run out dummy half. Either way, it doesn't matter. Chris Lord, he's still making his mark on this game. And what a game he's had. It stays to place, plays it down now. Tyler Amitagi with another good run. But he's taken there by Rex Lattery and White. Playing it, they just short the 40. 22 minutes to go in this game. Lord's going to punt it over. Over to Mark Iron, he'll take a run. Demano takes it from him. That's with first tackle. Now, obviously, down a man. We're going to have to try to make sure they can't get any of the ball wetter as another good run. But, yeah, the Orcs just want to make sure they're they don't get any of the ball. Because if they get ball right now, they're going to tire out even quicker. They're going to make them their players tighter. There's going to be more gaps in the field. What exactly should the Orcs do to sort of make sure that, you know, where they don't gain momentum here? Well, um... They definitely just need to make sure that they hold down their defensive line and no line breaks, like, you know, getting their out, getting outside of trouble, 65 metres gained. They need to pull that back down to, like, at least 30 or 40 here, the Orca side, because if they're going to get run over, it's going to be pretty much impossible for them to get it back, even with 13 aside. As now Columbus, that was a good cake, under all sorts of pressure, but he takes it and outlips. I think that was bars that he was outlipping, in fact, and great stuff there from Columbus. It's Curie. He'll take it there. It's going to go for one short ball there to Cambolo, but White wraps him up with relative ease there. That's the third tackle now. They send it long over to Kobe Johnston. Sorry, looking guys, it is. He'll play it there. That's the fourth. It's going to be Chris Lord to kick here out of all the players. In fact, it's a beautiful kick. 
I think it might be it. No, it's going to be a little bit too much power, I think. Buds is forced to play at it, though. As now he makes a bit of a break. Oh, he gets past our Tuggy, but... The angle tap saves today with Ronaldo to Curie wrapping him up. That's the first tackle. They send it over. About five more minutes with Damon one off the field. Two all will play it there. That's the second tackle. It's going to go home King. Short ball there. Dabana. Straight when Moana would have been fending. Defending, sorry. They get an offload there to White. That's the third tackle. They send a long pass over to Tua. Tua gets an offload now to Hone King. That's the fourth tackle. Duetta are looking quite strong here, but they still need to find ways to get points. Let it get said inside ball for not. No, they're not. Taken there by Gronk. And White will play it there. They send it back. Thomas Wallace punts it over. It's going to be the Mando who takes it there. And he'll play it there. The Wetter are doing quite well, but the Orcas are holding them out enough to the point where they can't get points at the moment. They're running out of time, though, Wetter, aren't they? You know, they definitely are. It's all on the Orcas side here, the scoreboard and also the clock. As it winds down, the pressure just builds up for the Wetter side to so just get something on the board just to try and get some momentum going. But the longer that it goes, the quicker it will be for Mon to get back on 13 aside here for the Orcas. As the Mano sends it wide, the guys again. And they'll play it there. Tackle. The only moment down until Moana gets on the field, I believe. This might be their final set without Moana on the field, in fact. For the Orcas. This Buns now makes good run, but Chris Lord comes around to make the tackle. That'll be the first. McCartney sends it over to Barna. Gives it short there to Kasakao. But he's taken their fifth, second tackle, sorry. A short there, Wallace. He's been pretty quiet so far today. As they make it out, Vaughn picks it up. If they score here, I think it might be all over Red Rover. We'll have to wait and see. Vaughn plays it there. Columbus gives it to Thompson. He goes short there to Gronk. That's the second tackle. Tell Amatangi. Short ball there. Guys, is looking for him. Try is going to be taken down there as Moana. He's back on the field. Thompson looking for something out dummy half. No, it's going to go there. Out the back to Abitungi and he has a hat-trick. And that's going to become oh. ever so much higher for where to come back. In fact, I'd say they're almost out of it now. Yeah, indeed. They're un unfortunate there for the wetter side. But beautiful ball playing there from the halves. Drawing in one and then straight over there to Alan Matungi out in the back. Running around out the back there. Straight through a hole. Couldn't have been any bigger for him. And he's under for his hat-trick. Beautiful stuff here from the Orcas. They came here with a plan and they've definitely executed this evening. Luke Thompson, I think, did the double pump. Drew him in enough before he just got the ball out the back to Amatungi, who was steaming onto it. And 34 plays, 12 to score, 14 to go. And this is going to become ever so much harder for whether It's still possible. I'm not going to say it's impossible for four tries in 13 minutes, but the fact they couldn't even capitalize at all on Moana sin binning, and then... The moment we want to come back on their score, I just don't see a way where to come back from this. Yeah, no, definitely. There's a lot of things that would have to go their way here for Weta to get a try on the board to ignite this comeback. But I'd be really interested to see how the forwards go here for the Orcas as they are both centers starting off the first half and coming off into the forward pack. It's going to be interesting to see what effect that they have here. This is the mine. It was a great pass from Cambola over to... Demander who plays it there. It's going to go guys now. He's happy to take a run up there. Gets over to 40. That's the fourth tackle. Thompson gets over to four and gives it to Amatungi though. Amatungi puts on one step. Maybe he can get a fourth few. We'll have to wait and see. Amatungi taken down there by bu Buds. It's good fifth tackle now. Send it back there. Thompson puts it high. Mark Iron makes the catch. And the weather survive once more. The Orcas not wanting to contest that and happy to try and back their defense. But Nanai straight through up to the 30. That could have been a very... Then, you know, they probably should have contested that bomb if they're just going to make their way up the field like this here, the the weather side. This Buns with another good run. They're at least not dying yet, but going to keep competing to the final minute it seems. They go inside there to Nanai. He'll push forward up to the 50. That's the fourth tackle. 
Good here, Kasaka. Who run? That's a good run there from Kasaka. But more honor it is, I think. Or sorry, it might even be space the pacer comes from behind to make the tackle. Thomas Wallace punts it over to Demando, who takes the catch. It'll be taken there. That's the first tackle. Very good contest yeah. so far, but the the Orcs have just been all over the weather for the most part, haven't they? You know, they definitely have. The Orcas side, they've come here with a game plan. You know, not being at home here for the Orcas, but they've come here to silence the crowd. The crowd's been silent since about the 20th minute of the first half. And now they're just playing with them. Razzle-dazzle footy offloads everywhere here from the Orcas. Yeah, and obviously this means we are heading to the side. Obviously, we the one the first game. 36-32. And unless the absolute miracle happens now, it seems like the Orcas are going to win game number two. It's the Terra Maxwell now looking for some space. He's had a very good second half, I think, to Terra Maxwell, but Bunce manages to wrap him up. That's the fifth tackle. The pace punted out of all players. Not sure what he's doing punting it. He finds a bit of space for a second there. I thought they may have had a chance, but Thomas Wallace dives on it. That could have been dangerous, couldn't it? Yes, it definitely could have been. And it was the number seven, and Wallace having to come back for the ball. Not even a centre or a winger was there to pick it up. So good stuff there from him. Hone King bumping off one. He's been quiet all game, but he does his job. No errors. And the rookie is just holding you know, holding his own out there. That's Kasake. Gets it off to Nanai. That's the fourth tackle. McCartney now for Chick Board. McCartney looking for some space. He gets ran on dummy half there. That's the fifth tackle now. Six minutes to go in this game. The Orcas no man until decided. It's going to be punted down there. Maxwell takes it there. It's a good run. It's past one. He'll be taken there. What if, So, obviously, we're headed to the side now. We're at a very disappointing in this game. What do they need to change to make sure that they're in the middle of competition? Sorry about this. I'm not going to let you answer yet. Because Vaughn now going up the middle. Bunce is chasing. Bunce manages to get him down. Ten meters out now. Vaughn plays it there. They're looking to go short side here. They do. It goes Thompson. Short ball there, guys. Looking for a second. He's no. He'll play it there. Just centimeters off the line here. Moana gives it there to Thompson. It goes long ball out the back. Picked up by Tura and they survive. So as I was saying before I got cut off there. Um, Wetter, what do they need to do to improve their game into the decider? Well, I think that they just answered it there, Lockie Forrest, the Wetter side. They need to make the opposition play, you know, do things with the ball that they wouldn't want to do. And just those floating long balls there. And then just with the big tackle and defense, just show, show a bit of resolve, show a bit of resilience. And then that's going to get you the win. That's what you need on your line for a consistent 80 minutes when they haven't been doing that here. And look what comes off the back of it. This Kobe Johnson pushes through for line. It's a good run. Maybe they can get a consolation try here. Goes Kasaka. Good run. Runs over the top of one. But is eventually taken down there by Amatungi. Fifth tackle. They go back. It's going to be Ty who punts it over. He'll... Take it there, Maxwell. Gets past one and eventually we take it over Bunce. Now, with the fact that they are missing one, it'll be interesting to see who they play at Hooker in game three. I think you'd have to be expecting the likes of either Levi Raymond to come in. Matthew Vaughan maybe can move there as now Kimbolo's away. Looking for another one. Gets a pass over to Vaughan. Oh. Forward's the call. I'm not sure I agree with that one, to be honest. But in the grand series, I guess that doesn't really matter. Yeah, the touchy there, pulling that one up forward. It would have been interesting to see if Vaughan would have gotten there. What a foot race that would have been from about 35, 40 metres out. The little half running away. But either way, this is what the weather have been missing. The offloads, the you know, the fence, the tackle breaks. It's what they've been missing all game. They're bringing it later. At least they're showing a bit of resilience, not just falling out of the contest when nothing's going their way. As Kasaka gets it offload to McCartney, that's the third tackle. Two minutes to go. Maybe they can get one last try here. As it goes, Thomas Wallace. He'll push forward. That'll be the fourth tackle. I'm about five meters off the line now. It's going to go Nanai. Gives it short there to Hone King. The rookie looking for a try. It'll be put on his back. And this is probably be the last tackle opportunity of the game. In fact, the last tackling player they'll have of the game. Tyre puts it high. The Mando catches it. And that about ends the weather's night with the ball. Yeah, beautiful take there from Demando. He's been doing it all game. He's been put under pressure, and just look at the Orcas here, playing to the si siren, not let, and playing to the whistle as well. 
Just getting straight through the middle. The weather, they're, lo they're looking good towards the end. Looking to get a consolation try. But either way, it's Orca's night here. Yeah, after Guru's Amatangi now is going to take a run. Potentially the final run of the game. In fact, no, there's still 20 seconds left. My bad. My apologies there. But this will probably be for final run. They go over to Johnny Columbus. He's taken down there. And that's going to be it. The weather are going to win 34 points to 12. Six tries to two. And in the end, they were too good. The Orcas couldn't compete after they fell off a couple times in that first half. And the Orcas go down with a win in game two. Your thoughts in the game, Eddie? Yeah, no, definitely they're going down with the loss there to Wetterside at home at Mount Smarts. But the Orcas, 34-12, to 12, what a game it was. Moana, he deserves it. Play of the match. Two tries, going off, unfortunately, but coming back on. Beautiful stuff there. Alan Matungi with three. Moana, two. Guys, one. Just an absolute flogging here from the Orcas. As we just go on to look at more stats-wise. I just want to sort of cut you off there, Eddie, but 12 errors by the um, Orcas. I'm sorry, not the Orcas, the weather. Four by Sony Tyre. They'll have to clean that up if they want to, have a, in the, if they want to go on to to win the series in game three. Yeah, no, they definitely will, Ian. Just looking at them, Joe McCartney, he, he, you know, a solid performance from him. He missed a couple of tackles, but he was always trying to get them on the front foot with a couple of darts out of dummy half. And then Bunts, look at that for a fullback. You shouldn't be making 26 tackles, Chance Bunts. But then Nanai towards the end as well, 144 meters there for him. Beautiful stuff there from the prop. The front rower just coming on, doing his job. Two tackle breaks, 21 tackles. It's just all the defensive work here for the wetter side that just fatigued them. Yeah, after we look at the Orcas stats here. 216 by guys. He was absolutely incredible tonight. Oh, no, he definitely was. 18 tackles. So both sides of the ball. He was on top. 25 runs from him. There's there's no better player to look up to. And what a player he is, Logan Guys. Every single part of his game is always on top. And Chris Lord as well. Not the stats that... You know, was similar to last week, but he added in a new feature to his game this week, the passing and also the kicking. Last week was all run, all go ahead, but then he's a mixed bag of tricks and he showed that here tonight. Yeah, after the group, we look on for next week. I've been um, your commentator, Lachlan Martin, the commissioner. Thank you, Eddie, once again for uh, joining us. We've been here at um, Flow, Flow SRL Premiership. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Going on to game three, going into the side off. Next week, the North and Weather and New South Wales will take over the start off. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys next time.